This video shows the lowest elevation points for all the states of the U.S. Most of these points fall on state lines along major rivers and along coastlines. Going from highest to lowest, we start with number 50, Colorado, the Arakari River. This is so high that the highest point of 18 other states is below this state's low point. Number 49, Wyoming, the Belfouche River. 48, New Mexico, Red Bluff Reservoir. Uh, most of this reservoir lies in Texas. The head of this reservoir is the lowest point in New Mexico. 47, Beaver Dam Wash. Number 46, Kootenai River. Number 45, South Dakota, and our first low point below 1,000 feet. Number 44, Nebraska, Missouri River. Number 43, North Dakota, Red River of the North. Number 42, Idaho, Snake River. Number 41, Kansas, the Verdigris River. Number 40, Minnesota. So this is the first of three state low points that fall along shorelines of Great Lakes. So really the entire shoreline of Lake Superior along Minnesota would count as low point for this state. Number 39, Wisconsin. Lake Michigan shoreline. Number 38, Michigan, the Lake Erie shoreline. Number 37, Iowa, the Mississippi River. Number 36, Nevada, the Colorado River. Number 35, Ohio, and the Ohio River. Just a little bit downstream, number 34, Indiana, Ohio River. Number 33, Oklahoma, Little River. Number 32, Illinois, the Mississippi River at the Ohio River Fork. Number 31, Kentucky, Mississippi River. Number 30, West Virginia, Potomac River. Number 29, Missouri, St. Francis River. Number 28, Tennessee, back on the Mississippi. Number 27, Vermont. Lake Champlain, and our first low point below 100 feet. Number 26, Arizona, Colorado River at the border with Mexico. Number 25, Arkansas, the Washita River. This is the lowest low point still above sea level. The next 21 states all have a low point of sea level. I didn't want a 21-way tie, so just for the raking, I do something a bit different and use geoid heights. This is what Google tells me the definition of geoid is. Uh, the hypothetical shape of the earth coinciding with mean sea level and its imagined extension under or over land areas. This arises because uh, the force of gravity is not exactly equal everywhere and so sea level is actually an undulating surface. This is a nice web viewer of the geoid. Geoid heights are greatly exaggerated. Earth does not really look like this from space. It looks like a near perfect sphere. But the geoid surface does vary by many tens of meters. Number 24 is Hawaii. Here, all the Pacific Ocean coast is the lowest elevation, being at sea level. The geoid heights here are very high. And that's associated with a thin mantle at the Hawaiian hotspot. I put a star at the geoid coastal low points for these slides. So this one, the uh, geoid low point, low point is the western, sorry, easternmost point uh, on the big island of Hawaii. Number 23, Washington. So Pacific Ocean again, sea level is a low point. The uh, geoid here is the next highest, um, or the least negative. The rest of the geoid points are going to be negatives. Um, it's the uh, next highest relative here uh, due to crustal thickening in the subduction zone tectonic setting. The geoid low point falls almost due west of the state's high point, Mount Rainier, and it's the uh, second highest slope angle if you connect a straight line from the state low point to the state high point. Uh, the highest slope angle is uh, for Hawaii. So we'll start getting into some east coast states now. So number 22 is Maine, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, low point. Number 21, New Hampshire. Uh, back to the west coast, so number 20, Oregon. And now down to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the low point, the geo low point locations along the Gulf of Mexico um, are up in uh, bays or estuary locations. So this one, uh, number 19 for Texas, 
is uh, in the Sabine Lake estuary. Number 18, Mississippi. Here we are in the back bay of Biloxi for the geoid low point. Number 17, Alabama, with the geoid low point up in Grand Bay. And now Florida, number 16, the geoid low points near a town called Palm Coast. Number 15, Massachusetts. Number 14 is Rhode Island. Number 13, Connecticut, the low point on Long Island Sound. Number 12, Georgia. Number 11, New York. Number 10, Pennsylvania, with a low point on the Delaware, Delaware River, but still at uh, sea level. Number 9, South Carolina. Number 8, New Jersey. Number 7 is Delaware. Number 6, Maryland, in this impressive lagoon and barrier island system. Number 5 is Virginia. Number 4, North Carolina, lowest of these coastal sea point geoid points near where the continental shelf is thinnest along the eastern passive margin. Now the next three are very special low points that actually fall below sea level. Number 3 is Alaska, an interesting remote lake feature in the periglacial terrain of eastern Alaska on the Yukon River Delta, four feet below sea level. Number two, Louisiana. In New Orleans, a historic city setting that is highly susceptible to flooding, especially during hurricane storm surges, eight feet below sea level. And our first ranked low point of the United States is California, Death Valley the lowest point of elevation in all of North America, at 282 feet below sea level, a desert valley created by a down-dropped fault block with spectacular alluvial fans and playa surfaces. Also the hottest place on Earth, with a recorded high temperature of 134 degrees Fahrenheit at Furnace Creek, the highest ambient air temperature ever recorded on the surface of the Earth. This is our final map showing low points of the United States. I also thought it might be fun to look at total relief by state. So here are all the states listed in order from uh, highest mean elevation to lowest mean elevation. Uh, the red dashed line shows the mean elevation for all the US. For relief, which is the high point elevation subtract the low point elevation, and relief is shown by the vertical black bars, we have uh, bottom three states of relief being Florida, Delaware, and Louisiana. Uh, the median relief is about 4,440 feet, uh, closest to the mean, or sorry, median are Vermont and Nebraska. Top three for vertical relief, we have Washington, California, and Alaska. Alaska being by far the highest because of the massive Mount Denali in that state. All right, thanks for watching.